which means that when you're trying to decide between a Roth IRA or a 401k and a regular IRA or 401k, you need to determine whether it makes more sense to pay income tax now with a Roth or to wait and pay income tax once you're retired with a regular account. In short, you're trying to figure out whether you'll be in a higher tax bracket after you're retired or a lower one. Obviously, this complicated question has a lot of specifics with your situation. That's why I always tell people, look, on these questions, I think you got to speak to advisors. you got to know yourself, okay? It's really important. Uh, it's more, more than just simply how old you are. But my quick rule of thumb, for anyone whose marginal tax rate is 25% or less, which is most of America, I think you go with a Roth. Better to take the hit up front than allow your Roth IRA to compound tax-free for the rest of your life. Remember, for those of you who don't have the time to pick your own diversified portfolio, say have five to ten stocks, may have money, uh, of course, of course, beyond the index fund, the smartest thing, smartest thing to do is just park your retirement money in a low-cost index fund that mirrors the S&P 500. As you get older, you can add some bonds. But really, until you actually retire, I still think stocks should make up the majority of your retirement investments. Remember, don't forget, people live longer. I know I said this before, but I'll keep repeating it until they take me off the air because it's so and so necessary, yet so contrary to conventional wisdom. It's not what people say. I want you in stocks longer and longer. All right, how about this Roth 401k? This works just like a Roth IRA, meaning you make contributions with the after-tax income, then you never pay taxes on that money again. Except because it's a 401k plan, there's a much higher contribution limit than an IRA. Like I mentioned at the top of the show, for 2019, you can put $19,000 into a 401k, and that's just as true for a Roth 401k. There's one, uh, there's one other big difference, though. Unlike a Roth IRA, a Roth 401k doesn't have any kind of means testing. No matter how much money you earn, you can take advantage of a Roth 401k as long as your employer decides to give you the option. Of course, all of these decisions depend on what you think the future will look like. If you believe that taxes are ultimately headed much higher over the course of your lifetime, as many people do, then a Roth 401k where you pay your taxes now and pay nothing in the future is the way to go, even if you're making a lot of money in the present. At the end of the day, though, this is both beyond our control and beyond our ability to predict, including, by the way, your professionals. The bottom line, the lower your present income, then the lower your tax rate. A Roth 401k or Roth IRA lets you pay those low rates now and never worry about taxes again for your retirement money. So the less money you make, the more likely that a Roth is for you. Yes, it's that simple. And when you're saving for retirement, don't worry about what could go catastrophically wrong 30 or 40 years in the future. Just worry about making the best choices for yourself right now. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.